Howdy folks, I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. I'm back outside the icicle land because I want to make sure I saved before I went on in. So now let's go on in again. Now we're going to take a little look around. Uh, let's see, where should we start? Uh, there's so much we could do here. Um, let's go over here. There's a shop we can check out. We have uh, this shop here, which has all new weapons for us. Well, for the well, for most of us. <laughs> um, I believe that these weapons are going to be good for a while. Let me check my steel list real quick. I'm pretty sure that for a good while we're good on uh, steels as far as weapons are concerned. So yeah. Alright. With that said, we're going to go ahead and buy all these weapons here. We should have plenty of money for them. Um, we're going to be obviously losing our double AP growth. That's okay. Um, we're, our, well, our, our, the material that I've been leveling up using a double AP has pretty much reached its max on every, on every material except a couple of restore materials. And they're pretty damn close to being uh, completed anyway. And as potent as our magic is, uh, Curaga really isn't necessary. Cura is plenty to, to heal us. And not only that, we have curing, we have other curing abilities that will do, well, uh, do just as well. Like White Wind, the enemy skill. And we also can use Regen, which is a very powerful curing spell. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and buy every one of these weapons here, except the Adam and Clip, because you can see it's not better for, um, for, for Red. So, an Organics for Cloud, Dragon Claw for Tifa, Micro Laser for Barret, Hawkeye for y uh, Yuffie. I'm not going to buy a Red End Phone for uh, Sid because I don't care. Mast Axe for Sid, and a Lariat for Vincent. Uh, there's no armor being sold here at this particular store. I don't think there's any armor sold uh, anywhere, actually. Um, so, getting the Diamond Bengal from uh, the... Bone Village may not have been a bad idea, but again, I will be sticking with Vincent and Cloud, or Vincent and Sid, for a little while, especially to work on their limit breaks. So I'm not worried about needing a new armor. And besides the armors that we've picked up, I've picked up better armors than the Diamond Bengals that have elemental uh, uh, draining and stuff. So if I change my party out for any reason, I can uh, put those better armors, I can put the Diamond Bengals on those other characters, or vice versa. All right, uh, I got. Go ahead and buy some more. Keep that at 20. High potions at 30. All right, good enough. Okay, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to step outside. I'm going to change it back out into the world map. I'm going to change everybody's weapons. Get back here to the shop. Sell the old stuff. Sell the old crap I don't have or need. And then um, we'll move on to looking around. So, once again, be right back. All right, I'm back and here's my setup. Uh, I've already changed everybody's gear out with the exception of Red and, and Kate because their weapons aren't going to change. Um, Cloud has the organics, <clears throat> Sid with the mast axe, and Lariat on Vincent. Their armors haven't changed. Cloud has restore all, lightning, enemy skill, death blow, and steel. Fire elemental on his armor to reduce his fire damage. He has the Aurora armlet to uh, drain uh, ice attacks, and the bolt ring to eliminate lightning, uh, li lightning damage. So he's resistant to fire, absorbs ice, and is, and is immune to lightning. So he's doing pretty good on elemental defense. Luck plus and magic plus. Again, I said I wouldn't use these, but these are strictly here just for the AP growth. I don't really care if they actually boost those stats. They're strictly there just for AP growth. Because eventually I probably will sell them, or if I need the money for them or whatever, I want to make sure they have enough, enough AP on them. And also I had two empty slots here. I'd rather not have empty slots. I'd rather fill them with something just so maybe I can sell them later for more AP. Um, I'd rather have them in here for the AP growth and sell them later than to have two empty slots. It's just because I've got nothing else to put in here. I don't use these summon materials very often at all. And these three materials I don't really care to use. I mean, I'm going to keep the Chocobo Lure because I have to, but I've already explained all that. Alright, Sid has Restore All, 
poison added effect on his weapon, so he can, whenever he attacks, he can, there's a chance he can inflict poison on a status ailment on the enemy. Steel, enemy skill, ice elemental on his armor, because he has the bolt armlet, which reduces his, uh, I think it absorbs lightning. Yeah, it absorbs lightning attacks. So now he has resistance to ice and uh, uh, drains lightning. Lightning and fire for just for his other uh, attacks. Most of his multi-targeting magic will be uh, the enemy skill. Uh, same for Cloud. Cloud most, most of his multi-targeting will be uh, uh, the uh, enemy skill materia. But as you can see, both Cloud and Sid have Restore All, so we have multi-targeting healing on two characters. Actually, not just two, but all three, including Vincent. Vincent has Restore All. He's going to be my mage, so he's going to have all my regular magics that are going to be paired with all materia. Lightning all. He's going to have cover because I want him to work on his uh, limit breaks. Morph, mostly for the AP growth. Um, fire all. Comet MP absorb because remember, all does not affect Comet. So now whenever K Vincent casts Comet, he will actually get some MP back on the attack, which is good because Comet is kind of an expensive skill. Not, not anywhere near as bad as Beta is, but it's actually kind of expensive, but it's definitely worth the damage. The MP you'll lose is actually definitely worth the damage. But getting that MP uh, uh, absorb attached to it will help alleviate some of that uh, uh, massive AP, uh, MP expenditure when casting Comet. And then finally, steal and manipulate in case we need enemy skills sometime soon. So what I have left over, as you can see, is just counterattack, long range, and chocobo lure, and then all the summons that I've gotten so far. Um, there is a summon that I haven't gotten yet that when I do, I will probably be pairing it with um, the added effect materia and possibly be putting it on armor because essentially at that point that's a second ribbon because this particular materia can cast multiple status ailments when you summon this particular materia and the added effect materia works on that materia. So even though it's a summon materia, pairing it with added effect will allow you to, if on your weapon, attack and potentially cause those multiple status ailments on an enemy, or if you have it on the armor, again acts kind of like a ribbon and prevents those status ailments, which is nice. So if you're short on a ribbon or if you want another accessory there to do something else, maybe something to prevent elementals, you can actually equip this particular summon that I haven't gotten yet but I will be getting and I'd pair that with added effect for uh, a, essentially a ribbon on your armor. But that's my setup now. Let's go ahead and go back into Isaac Land once again and move on with the plot. Um, I, mentioned, I, wanted to, I mentioned I wanted to sell stuff at the shop. I didn't do that, but that's no big deal. I'm not that worried about it. I'm pretty sure Gil isn't a problem, considering I've got over 60000 right now. I had a lot more, of course, before I bought all those expensive items, but no big deal. Um, let's see. This middle house here is kind of pointless to go into right now. Um, let's go visit uh, Let's go visit this, this place over here. Unless this is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, this is what I'm thinking of. Let's not go through here just yet. We'll get some more um, plot re revealed right there. Let's go into the inn here. Let's go in the inn. You can uh, talk to this guy for, you know, to take a, you know, take an inn. I think it costs, how much? 200 gil. Okay, no, I don't want to. I don't need to. Don't want to. Uh, I can go in here, this little back room back here. And you go down here. Uh, okay. <laughs> I believe one of these is a door that opens somewhere. What am I thinking of? My, my... There's two Johnnies in here. Huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, am I missing or forgetting something? I thought there was a door that opened in here somewhere. Hmm. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, or maybe I've... Okay, it's not here. I thought there was something I could go into. Okay. Nothing down here, then. Let's go upstairs. And over here in this corner, you can kind of see it. And just right by the window, you see a little blue item there. You walk over and pick it up. We get an X potion. All right. Now we go back out. 
And now we're ready to proceed on with this uh, little uh, plot thing we've got over here. Uh, if, you, if you actually want to proceed with the plot, you want to go down there where that guy is at the top of the screen, try to go past him, and the plot will go on from there. But we're not ready to do that just yet. There's a little uh, explanation about some characters that we know about. Where we are now is we're in a place called Gast's House. Gast's House, you might remember the name Dr. Gast. I believe, um, uh, who, I think Sephiroth has mentioned that name before. Well, if you go down here, first of all, there is an... Turbo, there's a turbo either down here, but more importantly, there's some more more background we can more backstory we can learn about. Go over this machine here and activate it. Play the video. Yes, we can choose from these um, these three options here. Let's start with the original crisis. Alright, obviously this lady here in the pink is a Falna. We already kind of knew that because we met a Falna once back in uh, uh, Midgar when uh, Elmira adopted <laughs> Eris at the train station. This is obviously Eris' mother. This much we already knew. Okay, so apparently the planet was already in pain, and the Cetra found the the wound that the the planet was was crying about at the Knoll's Pole. This area being the the area where they were now is what she's referring to. A planet reading. A conversation with the planet, okay. Something fell from the sky and made a large wound, okay. So the Cetra were obviously some kind of, were obviously pretty powerful people, and they could actually band together to try to heal the wound of a planet. Uh huh. So the Cetra used the life stream, essentially, to try to heal the planet. Okay, so it's supremely cold at the north at the northern uh, cave because the planet is trying to heal the, that massive wound. It. Hmm. So the crisis from the sky appear, appeared as the dead uh, relatives of the Cetra. Okay, so the virus was some kind of was given to them by this creature that came from the sky. Let's go on to the next one. What is weapon? 
talking about the swords that we use and the gun and the the staff that Sid uses. So the crisis from the sky was Genova. This much we already knew. So apparently Genova, which we already know was a crisis from the sky because Sephiroth said that, had apparently infected the early Cetra with a virus that turned them all into monsters. So the plan had to destroy Genova. Ah, so that's why the planet, even after a certain, after so long of uh, of its existence. The planet was still is still injured, as you can see, because it's still snowing around here, because Genova is, just still exists. The planet can't heal itself. Okay, so so the planet created a weapon but never used it. Ah, so some of the sector managed to defeat Genova and confine it. Okay, but it was no longer necessary to use it. Okay. Interesting. So it created a weapon, but put it right to sleep. Interesting. So the planet is watching Genova because it knows that even though it's defeated and asleep, it could return at any time. Okay. Let's check the confidential category. Daughter's record, 10th day after birth, 20th day after birth. Okay. Well, you already said it's going to be your daughter, so, they are your, they, so obviously you've already figured out that it's a girl. And as we can already tell by the name, that we already knew if Falna was the mother, now we know who the father is. Dr. Gas was obviously Eris' father. We didn't get any video on that one, just audio, but okay. I guess they couldn't uh, recreate a pregnant Tifalna for the, uh, the, the poly. They couldn't remodel, remodel her polygons to look her, make her look pregnant, but whatever. All right, 20th day after birth. Okay, I would be curious about something. If it's a girl, well, if it's 10 days after birth, wouldn't they already know that it's a girl? <laughs> well, the video works for this one. You can see that Evalna has the same mannerisms as Eris, or vice versa, however you want to say it. Well, I could tell you. <laughs> oh, they're going to have a moment. That's interrupted by a knock at the door. We know what you were about to do. 
<laughs> it's who? Shinra soldiers? Who's the who's the doc who's the other doctor in glasses? As if we don't know. That's right, it's Hojo. So she tried to sacrifice herself for Eris. I was kind of a slow bullet. Turns around, pulls the trigger, and then like two seconds later the gunshot goes off. And in case you didn't quite get what was going on there, Hojo obviously invaded uh, Gast's house, threatened to fall nine an heiress, and Gast tried to protect his you know, wife, I guess, and daughter from Hojo, but obviously Hojo was the pompous ass that he is. Not only possibly killed Gast, captured Ifalna and Eris, and also took the videotapes that we just saw regarding uh, the ancients and weapon. Now, I can only assume that uh, Hojo or one of the so Hojo ordered one of the soldiers to kill Gas. We don't actually see that. We hear the gunshots. We hear you fall on the screen. But, uh, so we can only assume that's how Gas died. All right. That's a lot of uh, plot to cover. That's a lot of hidden plot that you really wouldn't be able to find. It really leads, it gives a lot of credence to the story behind Genova. And the Cetra, which obviously we, we now know for sure that Cetra is not an ancient, or that uh, Genova is not an ancient, because the Cetra, the ancients, were trying, had to defeat Genova and put her in, in containment in order to keep the, uh, in order to help heal the planet, or help keep uh, Genova from destroying the Cetra from that, through that uh, virus. Okay, with that done, we are actually ready to proceed on with the main plot, so let's, let's head on up here. Um, by the way, this is uh, sort of a point of no return. Once you go past this guy up here, um, events are going to happen to where you cannot leave the Icicle Inn. So if you want to leave Icicle Inn and do anything else, like maybe go back to for a battle at Fort Condor, or you go through all this stuff and you've got all your items and stuff done, and you've saved, or you want to save, go out and save now, because you can't leave Icicle Inn from this, from the south direction, once you go past him. Which, actually, now that I think about it, I do want to save one more time, so I did all that exposition, so I will save real quick and be right back and meet you at that guy up there. Alright, I'm back here in Icicle Inn. I'm all saved up, ready to go. I'm going to go past this guy. Alright, and he says that, and then you say, I'm still going. You say, thanks for your kindness, I don't think uh, you'll actually be able to move on with the plot. Trouble, huh? Oh, trouble is right. Look who's here. Ah, 
Ага. Oh, right. Sephiroth was one that stabbed Song back at the uh, Temple of the Ancients. That was a few episodes back now. <laughs> She's not going to believe us. Alright. She's going to try to punch us. This is Elena, the newest Turk, going to try to punch an ex-soldier. It's not going to go out, work out well for her. All right, you're going to get a dialogue box, a prop that's going to say to either press left or right to try to dodge her. I think you even have the option to go up. I don't know why. But you go left and right to dodge her. All you got to do is just press that left or right at the right time, and you'll successfully dodge, successfully dodge her. Um, if you don't want to dodge her, you'll just get knocked out, and you'll wake up in one of these buildings over here. Nothing really major is going to happen. It's just kind of funny what happens if you actually do manage to dodge uh, Elena. There she goes. All right, and now that's it. Boom, we're ready. We're, we we can now proceed down the mountain. Well, we cannot proceed down the mountain. We actually progress with the plot a little bit. But if you come down here to the south, you'll see that there are now Shinra soldiers down here that won't let you by. Kick his butt. That's all that happens. <laughs> uh-huh. Ah, oh, so the president's going to be doing something up north pretty soon. Alright, as you can see, I can't leave Icicle Inn no matter what. Soldiers are here stopping us. I can't go by, go by them. That's why I said when you go down there and talk to him, it's going to move the plot along, and you can't leave Icicle Inn. All right, we need to go. We need to actually uh, go skiing down the mountain, but we need some stuff first. What is that stuff? Well, I'll show you. First, we can head in here into this house down here. Go over here, and we talk to this little boy here. And you can see there's a snowboard right behind him. Um, unless you've actually done that whole the whole sequence we just did with Elena and dodging her and stuff, which again, if she actually knocks you out, you'll wake up. I think at the end, maybe I forget where, and the, the there's nothing that nothing really different's going to happen. I think Elena will still be gone, um, and the 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 story can proceed as normal. Um, but anyway, there's a snowboard behind this little boy. Until you actually get the uh, conversation with Elena and you dodge your punch one way or another. Um, until then, you cannot actually get the snowboard from this, this little boy. But now we can. So let's talk to the boy. Randomly, he just decides he'll give me his snowboard. The cat moves. We walk over, walk over here. And we have a key item, snowboard. All right. Now I believe there's a person over in this house over here that when you talk to him, I believe this guy that's out here working on these boards out here. Let's talk to him real quick. To play the real north without a map. If you're thinking about going to the northern limits, you better take that map on the wall. Okay. Well, there is a map over here on this wall here. Let's open it and we uh, take the map. You see, key item, glacier map. Now, you didn't have to talk to him in order to get the map. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the guy that we tried to get past earlier at the top of the of the north of Icicle Inn, if we had talked to him, he would have said you're going to need a snowboard and a map in order to get down the mountain. Until you get those two key items, you will not be able to go down the mountain. You won't be able to go past him. He won't let you go. Oops. So, you have to come get that map and you get the snowboard. You didn't talk to this guy down here that I talked to a moment ago at all. But I went ahead and just showed you that in case you were curious. I was also going to go in here and grab this hero drink and vaccine. What a hero drink does is it boosts your stats for the duration of the battle. I don't know if it does for the entire battle or just for a short time. But it does up your... Um, where is it? Hero drink. Here it is. It raises mobility once during battles. <clears throat> so it boosts all your stats by a little bit um, for the during the battle. 
and this protects against transformation. So the vaccine, I think, just I think prevents uh, status ailments. Uh, but you have to obviously use this before you're inflicted with something. So vaccine is not really that useful an item because you're going to have ribbons and you'll have um, added effect material, uh, paired material, and things of that sort to prevent status ailments. But if you've got uh, no status protection on a certain enemy, or not a certain uh, character rather, and uh, you want to make sure they don't get uh, inflict inflicted with something, you can use vaccine for that. But other than that, I really don't see the need for it. Okay. Um, have I checked all the armor to make sure I got the best stuff? I know I've got some stuff recently. I guess nothing there. Wizard bracelet, nothing that amazing. The wizard bracelet, as you can see, is eight slots. I think we got this off of defeating Genova. As you can see, it's eight slots all paired. And magic defense goes up by 85 points, but your physical defense goes to shit. Um, so that's not really that great of great, uh, armor, in my, in my opinion. And also considering that... I think any, any of the versions of uh, this game before the Steam release that, that I'm playing now, in other words, the original PC version and the PlayStation version, uh, Magic Defense is bugged, so this armor, except for the eight slots, is useless. Because that Magic Defense boost helps you none, because Magic Defense is bugged. Okay. I just want to check my armor real quick, because I knew I'd picked up some armor, and I wanted to make sure I had the best stuff. Okay, with the snowboard and the map in our hands, we are ready to do what this little girl just did, but just a much larger uh, scale of it. And we're going to go skiing. We're going to go sledding. We're going to go skiing. We'll go past this guy up here, and we're going to go... I'm going to show off my absolutely fantastic skiing skills in the next episode of Final Fantasy VII. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out the links at the end of this video for more of my videos, and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to, obviously don't forget to like and subscribe, so yeah, please do. <laughs> I'm Scorn, the Crimson Renegade, and I'll see you later.